Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about and show you how to divide or propagate a Cattleya orchid. Let's start off by discussing why you may want to or not want to divide your orchid. It all depends on the goal you're trying to reach. There are two main reasons for dividing an orchid plant. The first reason is the back or older bulbs are dying and you want to save the plant by propagating. And the second reason is to increase the quantity or number of plants to trade, share, or sell by dividing an overgrown plant. There is also the option to not divide your plant and just potting it up in a larger pot, which allows it to grow to a specimen size like this. A prized plant reaching its full potential will have multiple spikes and large flowers. Now that you've decided you want to divide your Cattleya orchid, when is the best time to do so? The best time to propagate is when the flowers are done blooming and while the new shoots are still growing out. These are the basic tools you will need to propagate. Heavy duty shears, a media packing stick, some media, and a pot that is the same size as the pot that your plant is currently in. Always remember to use clean tools. Before we begin, let me show you the area to cut for propagation. The new growth is outgrowing the pot here. We recommend counting three shoots in, one, two, three, and cutting after the third node. With three shoots, it allows the plant to adjust quicker to its new environment with less setback when planted up. And cutting after the third node usually gives you lots of roots to start with. So let's begin. Our greenhouse manager, Curtis, will demonstrate our method for Cattleya propagation. The first step is to take clean shears and make a cut where you want to divide the plant. Split the plant into two by untangling the roots. Don't worry too much about being very gentle as the roots are durable. You can trim the very long roots if necessary but be sure to keep the fresh roots with the white and green tips. Next, take your pot and wind the roots around the inside of the pot. You want to be sure to position the plant so the newest growth is in the center. Pour some media into the pot Take your packing stick and firmly tuck the media into the pot. Continue to do this around the entire plant. Notice how Curtis is packing the media closer to the pot's edge as not to crush any new growth emerging near the center. Pack the media firmly. Again, don't worry too much about crushing the roots. This is why starting with a division that has vigorous roots is important. The plant can handle the transplant and will adjust to its new environment better. The recovery time will be faster with minimal setback on growth. Water immediately after transplanting. Place your plant in a more shady area for three to four weeks to reduce stress as it adjusts to its new environment. After dividing your Cattleya orchid, if the plant still seems a little bit wobbly, you can go ahead and stake up the plant to give it some stability. 